Sanjay. Joe, it's great to have you back on. Okay, here's a question. How come ABC News, CBS News, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, and other major national networks, why are they not covering one of the greatest feel-good stories in a generation? The heroic rescue of missing children in the U.S. 45 more missing children rescued in Ohio just this week. The largest anti-human trafficking effort in Ohio state history. They rescued 109 other human survivors of human trafficking, nearly 180 arrests. Why are there crickets? Why is there silence on the, on, in the media on this major story? Let's first look at the Department of Justice, Elizabeth, and how they define human trafficking. They call it modern day slavery, quote, a crime that involves compelling or coercing a person to provide labor or services or to engage in commercial sex acts. And, you know, a big lament of the Trump era that we're seeing is missing so many important stories like Operation Autumn Hope. As you said, 45 children rescued. Fox News covered it. The Hill covered it. A uh, small handful of others, but the major news organizations, journalism uh, hubs that reach millions of people. I just went to the CNN website to see if they at least covered it on CNN.com. No coverage of this whatsoever. Look, you've heard me mention my young kids on here before, and you read these stories, and it makes you angry. It makes you horrified that this is going on throughout the country. Let me share one more uh, stat with you. There's a nonprofit organization called Safe Coalition for Human Rights, all right? They're in Northwest Indiana. That's considered the armpit of human trafficking. They've tried to raise $1.5 million to build a facility to put some of these kids that were rescued and they can't find the parents just to give them a place that, where they, they could feel like they have a home. They've only raised 115000 on their goal of $1.5 million, and that's because there's no media attention around this, no media attention, no sympathy, nobody reaching in their pocket saying, we need to do something about this, and that's the crime right now, Elizabeth. Okay, so we've got this D.C. New York media beltway that's sort of this henhouse echo chamber of media analysts who get paid merely to read headlines and give their opinion, because I've been doing this for 35 years. I've watched the media for 35 years. I know what they're doing. We've got more than 420,000 children missing in the United States, just 1,300 missing children rescued since fiscal year 2016, and the major news media can't cover it? I mean, this is such vacuous vapidity that is happening on, on our nation's airways. Look at the numbers you see that we're showing right now, the missing children rescued. We're talking about children in ages ranging from 3 years old to 15 years old. We're talking about kids that are being pulled out of the most horrific conditions in states like Ohio, Indiana, uh, Georgia, child sex trafficking, exploitation, abuse. These, they have medical or mental health conditions. We have, we have seen people arrested with multiple warrants, and this doesn't warrant, this doesn't warrant national news coverage. That's, I've never said this, I've never said this on TV, ever. I'm gonna say it now, that's pathetic. The media is absolutely flat out pathetic in this story. I'm outraged by it. I'm really angry by this. It's malfeasance is what it is, media malfeasance, Elizabeth. Let me share another stat with you. 530,000 web articles were written between May of 2017 and March of 2019 on Russia or Trump or Mueller. We see where the focus is at this point. Boy, what a waste of time that was, right? And overall, look, there's a presidential interagency task force to monitor and combat trafficking in persons, okay? And they just had a meeting that's run by Ivanka Trump just three days ago. I Googled to see how many people covered that. It was along with Secretary Pompeo as well. Zero stories on that. Zero. As you said, this is something that it's just a whole bowl of wrong. All these kids missing and our national okay. media can't focus on it because I guess it doesn't involve Donald Trump. All right, Joe Concha, I knew you were the guy that talked about this. Come back soon, okay? All right, see you soon.